just about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yep. of everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 161 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Ready? Let's go, All right, so fight. lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you see in this. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Take down the tip lane. 
And he landed the right hand there. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. gotta defend, but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. You got to whip this hip into that kick. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Very oh, tricky oh, to oh, oh, that body kick. All right, that one signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, Chen. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC's back from the can as we get this next round underway, and his striking in that previous round was so good. I got tired just watching that out. I mean, he did a great job of landing strikes. Not only just punches, not only just strikes, they were significant strikes. A lot of punches outside of the jab. I've gotten in trouble a lot of times about what's significant and what's not. Right. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Ooh, what a punch. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Well, what got through, that kick was blocked. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Beautiful kick. Fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of making this up with the tag. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high with him. He was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Switch knee lands to the bottom. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he might be out. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Right hand punches the clinch. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. That's the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Right punches there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, that's the end of round number two. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability.
Let's Third go. round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous... Oh! Oh! oh. He's the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, big left hook there. Looping left hand misses the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He could never be a stationary target. Oh. He's out! He's down, he's down! What a fight! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rugliata calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 37 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by...